Hey everybody, uh, this is Robert Price. So today we're gonna cover a couple of um, diminished hats. Um, I think this is actually gonna be pretty valuable. All right, I know I say that all the time, but um, this actually should be really good, all right? So we're gonna be in the key of D flat, all right? Or C sharp, all right? All right? Now let's just get right to it, okay? So when it comes to diminished chords, we usually use that as um, a passing chord, okay? So you can also look at this lesson as um, pretty much like a part two to understanding passing chords, all right? All right, so here we go. Let's just get right to it. So um, where I usually use diminished chords, um, of course, I use it when I'm going to a minor. Um, a minor uh, chord, let's say I'm doing a progression and I'm on a three, I can do the three to the six, okay? So these are just regular examples. A lot of times on that three, you can use a dominant three, right? And um, the scale, okay? Um, if you're pretty much intermediate to advanced or even a beginner, um, you definitely know your scales at this point. I hope you do. If you don't, then you can look at what I'm doing now. Okay. Um, this lesson is probably going to be a little bit shorter today. All right. Because I'm just going to get right to it. So on that three, a lot of times we'll use a dominant, right? You can do that. Okay. Another place where we can use, um, where we can probably um, substitute a diminished for is uh, the two. A lot of times when you're going to a major chord, um, in this case, let's say we're going to the five. So um, I have a progression, just a one to the five. All right, that's to the six. Right? I use these simple prog progressions a lot of times, okay? Just so you can see it. All right? So I'm on the one. Usually we do a what? A dominant chord to go to that five, right? Well, today we're going to substitute the dominant chord and we're going to do a diminished chord, okay? And then, um, like we usually do, or at least what I usually teach, on that three, we're gonna do a um, diminished chord, okay? All right? But I'm gonna take it a step further today, okay? So not only am I gonna show you um, the diminished chord to play, I'm also gonna give you uh, something to use on those diminished chords, okay? Because a lot of us already use diminished chords, but um, sometimes it's good to actually have some tricks up your sleeve, okay? When it comes to playing these diminished chords, all right? All right, so let me give you the diminished chords that we're going to use today. All right, so um, the, the chord progression starts on the one. All right, now instead of doing the dominant, all right, we're going to do, uh, all right, pretty much like a C sharp diminish, okay? All right, so you have C sharp, E, G, and B flat, okay? All right, um, you can play this in any inversion, okay? So whatever song you are doing, um, you can, you know, you can play the chord according to the, the melody or something like that, okay? Okay, all right. Um, so that's what we can use over that too, all right? The tritone that I would use over that E flat would be uh, D flat or C sharp and, uh, and G. Okay. Okay. I'm going kind of fast because I really want to get to the meat of it. Okay. So just kind of um, bear with me. All right. So this will be um, a substitute for that I mean that dominant chord over the two. So we're doing the one. We're getting ready to go to the five, but we do a passing chord on the two. We we're gonna do this. Okay. That goes to the five. Now you can hear the difference between a diminished chord and a dominant chord. You hear that? You really just uh, move in one note, but it can still make a difference, okay? All right, so that's one way. We have the one, 
we can do all right and what I did was I changed up the inversion on the diminish the same chord but in my left hand um I have E flat um B flat and D flat okay that just to make it a little bit more bigger and thick okay so that's the way you can do it all right you can keep the same left hand or and change the inversion that's really all you have to do okay so all right so let, let's um, take it a step further now i don't know if you you guys um been following me um following me this long but in um earlier on i was saying that you can you take chords from scales um some people teach it differently but the way i come up with my chords is I look at what scale I'm going to use, okay? That's how I do it. So, in this case, instead of using a dominant, right, we're using a diminished. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this, but I'm going to give you a diminished scale, okay? All right? So, here we go. So, over this two, since we're playing this type of diminished chord, this, uh, this E diminished seven or C sharp, either one, it really doesn't matter. Um, this is what we're going to do. Since our bass is E flat, we're going to do a diminished scale off of this E flat, okay? And the way you do that is we call it the, the half hold scale, okay? Um, half hold. What that means is um, to create this scale, let's say we're starting from E flat, we're going to do half steps and whole steps to create the scale until we get to our next octave, okay? So here we go. Um, using this diminished chord, this is the scale. So we start on E flat, we do a half step, whole step, half step, whole step. You just keep going back and forth. Half step, whole step, half step, and now whole step. Okay? So you have... Um, just gonna hold down all the notes here, or at least try to. All right, that is your scale right there, okay? Okay, so anytime you play this right here, if, we're, if you're in the key of D flat, and you're playing this diminished chord over the two, now you know your scale, okay? Okay, now I've gotten a question about doing runs and stuff like that, whether it's on worship or just a upbeat you know, song. I'm actually going to give you guys a run that you can do, okay? So if we're doing this, we're back to the one, and now we're going to do this, or whichever way you play it, okay? Um, you could just go up the scale. Now, when you're doing runs, it, you should, of course, already know what chord you're getting to. So if we're doing a passing chord on that two, of course, we're going to the five, all right? So when I'm doing this run, I want to think of a target note. So I have three target notes. I have E flat, I have an A flat, and a C, right? Because this is my chord, okay? So with that being said, when I do my run, if I'm doing it on time, like if I'm going to stay on the beat, I want to land on any one of these notes, okay? So though, uh, this is one run that I did right here. So... Okay, I play the chord. Okay, did you hear? All right, I'm gonna do it again. I play the chord, and then I do this. Okay, if I'm doing it on time, I'll get to that C right when it's time to land on that A flat. Okay, so this is just ideas. I want you to take this scale and just, you know, get really creative with it. So I'm going to give you those notes, by the way. So, okay. You will have to play with the timing. You may have to take out a note or two, um, but I at least want to give you the blueprint, okay? So we got the chord. I start on the E flat, okay? Okay. And I walk it up that diminished scale to that E, all right, to that F sharp or G flat. To the G, to the A, B flat, and then when I get to the C, I play the chord. 
Okay, so all right. Okay, so in real time, let me see. Um, okay, you have to really get the fingering. So my fingering is. So I use my index finger and then I go to my thumb, okay? And I cross over with my index finger to play that F sharp. Then thumb again, index finger. So, okay. So I don't, I use my middle finger when I get to that B flat, okay? And then the C, you know, now I'm playing the actual chord. Okay? Okay? Now, if you can't actually play the chord, you uh, a lot of times I chord with my left hand, especially if you have a bass player. So you could do um um uh, wait, let me see. You as far as time it goes, you'll play the chord first. Okay. See, so I played the chord with my left hand and just landed on that C with my right. See? And then you can chord it. Okay? So I hope that run actually helped you guys. Okay. All right. So, um, okay. So let's move forward. Now you remember, after the five, we go to the six, right? Okay. Let's use the same concept we did over the two. So the diminished chord that we'll play over that the three, which is that F, we're gonna do a F sharp diminished seven, depending what's on the bottom, because of course. If I have the E flat on the bottom, it'll be an E flat diminished. So, um, all right. So I'm gonna use this inversion right here. Okay. So that's the um, diminished chord I'm gonna use. So we have E flat, G flat, A, and C. Okay. Um, the tritone. If we were playing with a bass player, I would probably do something like this. Okay. So in my left hand, I have that E flat and that A, okay? Now, you don't have to do that. You can play it like this. You can just do a F and a C, okay? Or, um, so really get good with inversions, okay? It's gonna help your playing tremendously, okay? So um, another way that you can play in your left hand, you can do F, C, and E flat, okay? So, all right, I just played it a little bit further down the keyboard so you can kind of hear it um, in, at a lower register, okay? All right, okay? Most people already do that, all right? You already do this. Some people, if you haven't, if you don't do it, then I guess I just gave you something. All right, so let's let's um, come up with the scale because we need a diminished scale to play over this F, right? Especially if we want to do a solo. So this is another hack, okay? So since our bass note is that F, um, we're gonna start on F, of course, and now we got to do the scale to get to that next F, okay? All right, we're gonna do the half whole scale. Here we go again. So we're starting on F. We're gonna do a half step up. Whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, and then a whole step. Okay? So, and then it's E flat. So I'm trying to play all the notes. All right? But, um, so there you go. All right, that's your scale. Okay, all right. So let's put that in real timing though. If you wanna kind of go out, cause a lot of times most of us know maybe just a pentatonic scale. You know, but um, when it comes to these passing chords, a lot of times you can kind of go outside the key and things like that and it'll sound really good, okay? So here we go. We already did this, right? Over that two. All right, let's do the same run, but kind of um, on a different, um, scale degree now. All right. Now, um, let's see. We started on that E flat last time. So this time we'll start on the F. Okay. Okay. 
So if I'm playing my chord like this, I have that E flat on the bottom and I do it like this with the tritone, I can do, right? See, uh, I'll do it again. All right, so as far as real time, it'll be, that's the first, this the first one. Did you hear it? So uh, there we go. Now I may be going faster or slower depending on the song, right? Okay. The reason why I chose to go to that, that C sharp is because that, that note is in the chord that I'm playing over the six. Remember, you always want to know where you're going, okay? So I knew that when, if I'm on the three, I'm going to the six. So that's why I was able to land on that chord tone, okay? All right, I have another um, level that I want to go before the end of this video. So I hope you guys are sticking with me because um, it's some good stuff, all right? So, all right, let's, let's cover that run. Um, I didn't go outside of the scale of that um, whole half, okay? I literally just started from F and I went all the way up. You remember, we already have the notes at this point, right? Um, well, I hope I did. If I didn't, I'll give it to you now. So we have F, um, F sharp, A flat, A, B, C, D, E flat, and F. Okay, that's if I didn't give you the scale already. Um, so with the run I did, I literally went up that scale. And once I got to that C, I knew that I'm getting ready to play that um, B flat minor. So it leads me right to that C sharp. And that's good. Um, that's a good way to run. You know, that it sounds mature in a sense, because at least you, you know um, where to land. You know where you're going. You know the timing and everything. OK, so. All right. So study that. OK, really study that so you can get it under your fingers so you can use this in any key. OK. I want you to take these concepts and apply it to other keys, okay? So. Okay. All right. And then of course, I think I went to the, to the four. Okay. All right. So most of the time I'm, I'm doing uh, diminished chords on the two and on the three. You can do a diminished chord over the one. I know a lot of times we do a five, one, four, but you could do this. Okay, or uh, just different ways. So you can play a F, like an F diminished over that C sharp, okay? All right, I'm gonna let you actually um, explore with that one because I need to get to the next thing, okay? Um, but it'll be the same concept if you actually did that. Um, I'll give you this right here. I'll just let you see it on the screen. You could do this. So you can do uh, this. Okay. That's a 5-1-4. Okay. And I just played a diminished chord over the 1. All right. So you have that, that D flat, F, and B. That's how I chorded in my left hand. In my right hand, I have D, F, A flat, and B. All right? All right? But this is what I really been wanting to get to. Um, you remember I said that you can create chords from your scales, okay? Let's find some actual chords from these scales, okay? That's not really in the key, all right? So let's go back. We on the one. Now you remember we did this diminished chord. We use that that E diminished over that E flat to go to the five. What if we didn't want to play this diminished chord though, but we still wanted to stay with the same idea? A lot of times it can be implied. So if I if you know that you're going to play this diminished chord, um, you can still think about the scale, although you're not actually playing a, um that actual chord. Let me show you what I mean. I don't want to confuse you. A lot of times over this E flat, you can play an A major chord. Okay. And you may be wondering like, wait, what? You could do this. Yeah. You hear that? That 
that tension, right? Um, that's pretty cool, right? You can play an A major chord. All right. Now, the way I got that was I look. This is what I do, literally. I sit there and look at my own, my, my scale, and I say, what chords can I pick out of there? Well, when I was looking through it, I said, wait a minute, I got an A major chord. And I was like, wait, that still goes with the scale because every note is in that scale, right? Right? So there you go, you can play an A major chord. And a lot of times to spice it up, I'll do a half step movement to spice it up. So I would do this. You right? So there you go. I'm only going to give you that one because we can sit here and be going through all kinds of stuff because you don't necessarily have to think about just major chords, okay? But go through these scales and say, hmm, what else can I pick out of this, okay? You have all of this. Now, of course, I see an E major scale, I mean, an E major chord. So you could do the regular, okay? But we already know that. So that's why I wanted to pick out that A major because usually you won't see that. You will hear it maybe. Somebody may do something kind of outside the key and you will be like, wait, what is that? All right? So this is a way. You can play it in any inversion. Okay? Now, let's apply this same concept to... Uh, that F, okay? You remember what we did? Right? Let's see what we can find. Um, let's see, I haven't actually tried this one. Let me see. I knew I was gonna give you guys that A major chord, so. Um, let's see. Of course, I see a F major, right? So you could do that. Let's find something else. Um, you got A flat major. So you could play. That's okay. Huh, let's see what else is not in the key. Um, oh, right there. Right there. And I think I did this chord before, but I don't know if I was using this actual scale. Okay, look at that. So you can play a B major chord over that F. And I think I gave you this chord before, but at least now you know what scale I'm using. I'm using that half whole scale. So you could do this. Um, you can do... Oh, see? So... All right. So there, there you have it right there. And you can choose any other chord. Like you can just look through your scale and say what chords can I pick out? It can be a minor, major, alt minute, dimin it can be any one of those things, but at least now you can actually explore, okay? Um, so that, that's all I wanted to cover. Um, I feel like that progression that I use, it, it's in so many songs. So you can actually take what I'm doing here in the key of D flat and just use it wherever. Cause I gave you your diminished chord. You know, things like that over um, the scale degrees. And I gave you a run that you can do just to start you off. And I gave you um, some chords that you can look at, okay? Um, I really hope this lesson brought some value to you guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Um, definitely let me know if you want to go a little bit deeper um, by emailing me um, if you want. Um, and I'll be talking with you guys soon.